Hi everyone and welcome to another part of the web3.js tutorials. So um, first of all let me create this one, compile data in order to make it alright. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the process here, uh, we need to define another variable for deploying uh, deploytx. So uh, the first thing first is to define const, const deploytx. So tx is a short form of transaction, so we need uh, this variable in order to be able to deploy. So we have contract, contract is what we defined before, and dot deploy. So uh, this is going to deploy for us, so contract dot deploy. And uh, this is inside of the bracket, so we need a uh, number of data. The f data is bytecode, so this is where we use bytecode and arguments. And about the arguments, I'm gonna tell you what we need to do. So, as you can remember, we wrote this smart at the time we wrote this smart contract. We had at, at the constructor we had initial supply as the argument needed for the a smart contract. So before we wanted to deploy the smart contract in the previous course on Remix ID we would enter the initial supply or something like symbol of the token but whatever we had instead of the constructor was an argument that we would need to enter in order to deploy the smart contract. So right now we need the same variable here as the argument and also consider that Sometimes we have uh, we don't have the constructor, so we need no argument, right? So, but here we need an argument which is initial supply. So we need to um, we need to consider entering it here. So we write it inside of the square bracket, and it's a string. However, it's a number, but it should be a string. So, for example, we consider the initial supply twenty one million. But this is just a number, you can set it to any number you like. And that's it for defining the uh, deploy TX. So we're going to use this in order to deploy. So here we write try and open the bracket. And inside of this, we have const deployer equals account.address. So the deployer is the person uh, whose account. Uh, we entered here with private key and then added to the valid and the account here. So account dot address. This is the default account. Whenever we write account dot address, this is the default account that we're using. So account dot address and const guess. So we need to def also uh, calculate the gas fee for deploying the smart contract. So whenever we want to deploy a smart contract, we need to determine the gas fee, right? So we need to calculate it in, uh, in the Ethereum blockchain to see how much gas we need to pay in order to deploy the smart contract. As you can remember on Remix IDE, there, uh, we would have uh, some of our accounts that uh, whenever we deployed the smart contract, we would see that uh, a small amount of Ethereum would be uh, reduced from the account balance. So this is the same story here. So we need to first uh, calculate the gas fee. So gas estimate is the name of the variable so await so it needs to calculate so we need to await deploy tx which is uh, the variable we've all, uh, already previously defined and dot estimate guess which is uh, its property so open the parentheses and brackets so from colon deployer have this so in the next line we'll have const deployed contract so const deployed contract equals await deploy tx so uh, 
ready like this so await uh, takes that send so this is the time when we send the request for deploying the contract and this deployed contract is a variable that holds data for the deployed contract send and now open the parentheses and a bracket and in here we have from the deployer from deployer which we've defined earlier and guess which is the estimate estimate guess that we've defined earlier so estimate guess and here we go oh so uh, here semicolon so this is up to now we've deployed the contract so we also need to uh, acquire the address get the address so contract address equals contract address equals uh, the deployed contract dot option deployed contract dot options also it's camel case so deployed contract dot options dot address This is how we get the address. And then we console.log the contract address to be able to track it. Console.log. So whenever we do this on the testnet or mainnet, we'll be able to track it on ether scan of that testnet or the mainnet itself. So, uh, but here we are in simulated blockchain. I will tell you how you can track it. So contract address. Also, first of all, uh, contract deployed at address, contract deployed at address, so uh, colon and then outside of it, comma, and we have contract address as a variable. So, okay, and then uh, we were inside of a try and we need to add uh, the catch here. So, so then we need to catch the error. Open brackets, and uh, if it fails, also yeah, we catch the error and console log console dot log failed. To deploy contract in an er error failed to deploy contract and then outside of it comma and then the error itself so that's it we've tried to deploy the contract and we've caught the error and the deployed we've also console like the deployed data so uh, the deployed data is the contract address, right? And we need the deploy data to be saved on a JSON file. So this is also important. So deployed, so we define deployed data instead of uh, an object here in JavaScript. So we've got contract address colon and outside of the apostrophe comma and then we'll have contract address right same thing oh why did we end up there anyway so um, also this this is uh, an object so make sure you write in the correct form this is not console log Okay, we'll write it this way, and yeah, that's correct. So we're gonna uh, then add it to a JSON file so that we keep it and then use it in order to interact with the smart contract. So we first compile it, then we deploy it, save the data for deployment and also for compilation in JSON files, 
and then we use the deployed data in a JSON file in order to interact with the uh, deployed smart contract. So we try to save the data in a JSON file. So const contract data So let's write it this way, contract data. So JSON dot stringify the deployed data. And null also two anyway. So the next step is to fs write file again we use this library in order to write it to a JSON file write file sync and here we'll have deployed data the JSON and then uh, contract data so this is the name of the JSON file and the contract data, contract data, and then UTF-8, UTF-8 here as the time. So we'll then console.log the um, ABI has been written to file, ABI has in written to file and column and the uh, deployed dot json this is the name of the file deployed data json actually so anyway that's it we've saved it and we've also logged into the console and now we're gonna catch the error so open O okay so here we go so catch the error and here we'll have console error failed to write ABI to file to write actually here uh, failed to write deployed data deployed data to file so then we'll have come outside of upper three and then the error so that's it and in the end we will so let me fix this now we'll return the deployed data here return deploy tx actually so this is the address of actually we need this deploy tx in the future when we want to um, so this one is also not needed okay here we are. So we need to deploy TX and also this contract address, but we cannot store deploy TX anywhere, anywhere else. So that's why we write it over here. Now we're ready to deploy our smart contract and um, save it somewhere uh, on our ganache, but make sure that uh, whenever you want to do it again, you uh, customize the private key and also uh, yes only that one so now we can use deploy function here we can call the function we also need to get a private key somewhere so now let's get const private key So right now we'll get the private key and also notice that once we get the private key 
uh, we shouldn't write it like this in our code. We need to provide uh, environment variable and write it inside of the .env file. But here, uh, exceptionally, we're doing this because we are in a simulated blockchain, and uh, this is not a sensitive data. But this is, but usually, private keys shouldn't be exposed to outside. Nobody should see it. And even I shouldn't show it like that to you, but uh, this is for educational purposes, and this is a simulated blockchain, so it's not gonna provide any risk for me. Uh, it's not gonna affect me, but uh, you should consider using environment variables, which I will show you in the future tutorials how to add the private key to uh, the environment variable and how to hold it inside of the .env file so that the data of the private key wouldn't be exposed outside and whenever you want to even push it to github use the dot git ignore and include the dot env file not to push the data of the private key to the github so anyway we'll copy the private key from here so let me copy it and paste it over here this should be in the format of a string like this so as you can see it's a very long string and this is a private data again I'm uh, emphasizing on the privacy of it but right now this is in Gnosh and we are not worried about that anyway uh, when once you're in testnet or mainnet you should keep it private you should store it on uh, the environment variable and also that env file and also consider adding it to dot getting nor but right now uh, that's not important. Anyway, let me save it over here and uh, run the script to see if there, there are any errors and see if our smart contract will be deployed. So let's run node index.js. Oh, node index.js like this so whenever you get something like this this is an error and uh, this shows something is wrong so you need to check what it is so let's try that if that accounts that private key is not a function so let me check about this function this is let me see in what line it was uh, web tree dot if dot account so whenever you get these kinds of errors, uh, you can uh, move your cursor to the function and see what the problem is coming from, where the problem is coming from. So here, we do not have that kind of data. So let me check instead of my own code here. So um, probably it's a small problem with the way we've used this function. So this is private key to account. So make sure you fix this. So web tree dot if dot account private key uh, to account and make sure it's camel case like this. Then let's run it again. There seems to be another problem. Whenever you see this very long string coming to you, not always, but most of the time there's a problem. So contract that uh, contract address is not defined. So let's also check where it is. There seems to be uh, a problem here. So contract address. Let's find it together. So we've written somewhere contract address. Also here we have guess estimate. We should write it like this here. This one should also be changed. Now it's been fixed. Also about the account address. So let's see where we had this. So actually contract address, right? So contract address is here and here. So um, let's contract address. Also make sure you write it in the correct format. So let's check again. Contract address, deployed contract, and it comes from the uh, deployed contract which is here so it uses the gas estimate so right now I think it, this is going to be fixed let's try it again 
Now again we have this error here, again the contract address is not defined so we need to check what is the problem. So now we need to make a number of changes here. Uh, first of all we need to uh, copy the uh, two lines over here, cut them actually and paste them after the console.log like this and um, then we'll have it like this. So also contract data is camel case. Make sure you write in the correct form. And uh, also we've got something else. So we've uh, we've just copied, uh, caught the try and catch from there to here so that we put it inside of this try because we want to have that kind of data over here. So contract address is now defined here. And also notice that something else needs to be uh, in a correct way. So first of all, let's save this, see if there is any errors. Still there, as you can see, there are some errors. So in order to debug where the problem is coming from, the uh, whole story is so easy to handle. So you can comment out uh, the part that is related to the contract address. So up to here, we can just uh, comment it up, comment it all by pressing control slash. So let's save this, see if there are any errors. So as you can see, there are some errors here. Yeah, it's because of, um, okay, we need to keep here uncommented. So again, control slash save. Now, uh, run down just, there is there's still some problem uh, with ABI is not defined. So let's check the ABI here. Um, there seems to be a problem. So we've got ABI from here and we're using it here in order to get that. So, oh, actually I've, uh, let me fix it, fix this here, deploy data, delete this, move to trash. So let's save this one here. Now it should work. Now it worked up to here. So actually don't worry about this part. I had deleted uh, contract data uh, mistakenly at the time that I was testing. So now I've just uh, returned it here. Now, uh, what we need to do is to add this line to the code. So uh, let's save this, see if there are any problems. As you can see, the contract is deployed successfully. So let's see about this line of code. Take a look at it, see if where the problem is coming from. So, um, we can here write const deploy data. Oh, it's written in correct way. So, so now again it worked. So right now I think the rest is gonna be all right. And as you can see, it's all right. So we've also saved the uh, deploy data that JSON here, which contains the uh, address of our contract, which we can use in the future. So up to now we've deployed the contract and now we're ready to interact with the smart contract which we're going to cover in the next video. So until the next one, goodbye. And uh, by the way, let me also uncomment this line. So, okay, so it will return the deploy transaction all as well, as well as this data that is uh, stored in the JSON file. In the future, you will see that we need these two variables in order to interact with the smart contract. So that's it for this video and until the next one, goodbye.